Sega. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Ami Pulley Typhunk. This guy over on my right is Zip Kai Fung, and we are bringing you games from the Losers Bracket Round 4. The winner of this will go on to face Barton PL, and that's going to be tomorrow. And our uh, Lower Bracket Marathon stream is going to start tomorrow on Sunday Night Fights channel right here at 3 p.m. Central European Summertime. So we expect to see you for that. Yep. Nice and early. Tune in for loads of COH2 action. Loads. Loads and loads of CO2. We're going to see how far Barton can go. Can he make the unbelievable run back to the Losers Bracket Finals uh, where, he, where he may have the opportunity to face Twister in, in one week's time next Saturday? Um, we'll see how far they can get. But right now we got business to sort out. It's Captain Aind versus Easy. Captain Aind's leading 1-0. Let's hop in game and see how they fare in game two. Okay, so ready to un so we're gonna pause in three, two, one, unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. Once again, I am following Easy this time. He's got the Russian side. He'll be in the southwest of Samoski. He's got the blue trunks. He's coming out. He's he's got his back against the wall. This is elimination now. He's down in the lower bracket. He's about to take his second loss and get sent home forever. So he really needs to tighten up. He'll be facing his opponent, perhaps his nemesis. It's Captain Aind. He's going to be playing the Germans in the red trunks. Let me throw on the resources for you guys. What do we see for opening builds, Ipkai? So pretty standard fit. Um, I think uh, Easy's going to go for four conscripts, then tier two with a maxim. He's probably going to go guard mode to a corp, uh, company because that's you know I've seen him do it before in the other games. And Captain Angel's going two Grens, so I think two Grens and an MG, or maybe three Grens and an MG. Uh, standard tier one build for this map. The last, that first game that we saw didn't get to any call-in units. I mean, that it, um, Captain Aind was able to finish it off in tier three before any late game uh, Axis units might have appeared. It was an impressive, strong victory. Yeah, really strong. I mean, he, he, he managed to kill a P4 with his own T34 sending six. I mean, he used Mark Target to help him uh, in the engagement, but, you know, that's still a win, um, a big win. And then the and then uh, Easy was um, built a Stug then, and that did okay. It killed one T34, but then it got killed by the, the other one that Aind had at the map. Got to get the H and, sound, Epkai. You almost... Stug. 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 It's like the three stug. three Stooges, kind of, but hard G and, and then yeah. H, so like Stug. I think that's as close as we can get. I think we're going to yeah. run with Stug. I, I know it's in chat some people are commenting about Welsh, and unfortunately my Welsh is really bad, so I don't know much. Um, well, you better so. pick up some phrases. At least, you know, good luck, have fun. Uh, hello, good day. Can you say good day oh, at least? Guten oh, yeah, yeah. So like, so like, good, good afternoon. For example, is uh, Prinhounta. What? Okay, one more time. Prinhounta. What? What? That's good afternoon. That sounds. That sounds like you're about to throw up or something, guy. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Like, good morning. Good what? morning is uh, Borada. Okay. And then you got good evening is Nosta. Okay. All right. And then you got counting. In die tree, Pedro Pimp Quick, Scythe Oith Now Dig. Oh, I like that. It, that sounded, those sounded like insults. You could just count at someone in, in Welsh and they'd think you were being really rude and insulting them somehow. No. And then there's the other one is like, you know, uh, rather than Hoffi, can hold and ham then, which means I like going to the uh, leisure center. <laughs> that's, that's all that's, I can remember from school. That's the extent you of your more. Welsh. Yeah, I could like try and learn a bit more, and I, I think I, I should try maybe, but um, it's just because it's not used that much in this area where I live, so I don't, you know, you don't speak it that much. It's mostly used in the northern parts of Wales. Um, that's where it's mostly spoken. I live in the south, so they don't speak it that much. This is so off topic as far as Code 2 is concerned, but why is it that Wales has its own football club and is not like part of England? Like, how does how does that all work? Uh, you're kind of you're part of English Parliament, aren't you? Are you? Your own country or no? We've got devolved. I don't understand. Well. We You've have got your own government, government. Yeah. so you're not in the UK, but you are in the UK. The we're United in the UK, Kingdom. yeah. 
We're in the but UK, you're not part of England. Not no. England and the UK are different. Currency. Yes. See, see, that's... What, <laughs> uh, it's so confusing. I always I figure know. England and the UK are synonymous, but they're really not. No, they're not. It's like, okay. um... There's another interesting fact as well. Like, Wales has its own national anthem. The UK has its own national anthem. But... And England, I believe, they have their own national anthem as well, which is the same as the UK one. However, Scotland does not have a national anthem officially. <laughs> <laughs> the so intricacies. Weird, yes, yeah, it's really weird, weird, weird bits of the United Kingdom. But, uh, I, um, I read the other day, you know, I was looking, I was researching World Cup stuff, and I was wondering, like, why Gareth Bale, Bale isn't in it. And it's, of course, because he's Welsh, and he plays for the Welsh side. And I read the other day that when he was, who did he play for? Tottenham, or did he play in a Tottenham London Hotspur. team? Yeah, Tottenham I, I think he had the opportunity at that point to get like English citizenship and and pretty much abandon the Welsh team and go play for England where of course he would have had a much better chance of actually getting into the World Cup and and having an influence on it but he elected not to yeah some a couple of players like that um, Ryan Giggs is another one as well he's from Wales he used to play for Man United so um, but he, he opted to play for Wales I think he had the chance to play for England as well Michael Owen he was born in Wales I believe as well but he chose England instead so, I, I don't know how I feel about those choices because I really want to see Gareth Bale in the World Cup, but I would love if he was on the English team and gave them a better chance. I mean, I don't know if they're going to get out of their group. They're in a very difficult group, and you know, I would love to see them do better. So I don't know I, how I feel about Gareth Bale's decision. Of course, he made the decision years ago, but I, I don't know if like he gets points for being true to his nation of birth or if he's just being silly and he should you know like fight for England I, I, I'm on the fence on that one I don't know it's it's all it's all you know players preference at the time but uh, you know don't forget they, they're young guys when they make that choice so it's it's always tricky but yeah that's one of those weird things about international football I mean if you play like one game then that means you're locked so I don't oh, believe there's any that chance true? To change oh I didn't know that I believe so as well yeah okay I don't think you can, you know, I don't think you can um, con convert, so to speak. Um, after the, after you've played after, a game yeah. for a I think when side. you get one cap for like a certain country, at, which like, he has, even if it's like qualifying stuff, right? Because he played yeah. for the Wales the national team in the World Cup qualifiers. They just didn't make it. Yeah, he did. So yeah, um, and I think if you, if you, I believe that's. I mean, I have to check into it because it's it's pretty complicated, I believe. But um, yeah, it, it's the same for a lot of players. I think there's like. Um, I mean, Holland does well because Suriname, I think they managed to get some uh, to, to play for Holland as well. So they, they get a couple of good players from there too. But um, Speaking of Holland, man, they go against yeah. Spain tonight. I can't wait for that. That's going to be so hot. All right, Ipkai, like no more World, Car World yeah, no Cup more, talk. No I've, 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 decided, I've made a judicial decision. Let's talk about the game. We got a 2-2-1 out from Captain Aind. Um, the map control at this moment is about even. I, uh, you know, once we get some... Some tier two units in out. Uh, we can say that we're about into the middle game, and it's looking pretty neck and neck at the moment. Yeah, 50 50. I mean, um, Easy's got an, a Maxim, what and he's got it? four conscripts. He, earlier, he did have a nice Molotov. He threw it on the. Oh, man, nice 18 8 on that 2 2 2. That's got to back off for repairs. But yeah, he got a nice Molotov off on a Grand Squad. Um, I'm not sure if Captain Aid was paying attention at that point. Nice flank with his Maxim as well. So those, those players have to run. I wonder if Captain Ainge will be able to save this scout car. He's got it to the red road now, so I think he's safe as long as he keeps reversing. He does yeah, have MG coverage back there. Cover, yeah, to cover it as well. Yeah. So he sh I think he should be okay. That's just going to drive back straight to base. So. He's, he's trying to pull off a flank, but he, he elects... Oh, he's going to hop in the house. I wonder if he could have used the house as cover and, and got come around uh, to the top of the MG. You know, houses are great, but now the MG can just backpedal and reset up. Oh, um, this is interesting shock troopers from yeah Easy. yeah I saw I showed them when they were coming in where are they I can hear their I can hear their guns it, rattling away they they're gonna try to get a grand squad wipe here oh so close but unfortunately the um the PPSH the range on that gun is not very big it's um if 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 you take for example see the the, the size of an HQ base that's about ten in, in game units right the length that's roughly it that's about ten mm -hmm. and their gun starts getting good at eight. Wow. Uh, 
That's when it starts doing any like uh, any sort of like observable damage. That's when they start doing it, and that's at eight. And you can see how small that is. If you like think that's ten, and then you divide it by you know divided by ten little bits, then you take two away, then you realize, oh man, that's that's the range their gun is good at. <laughs> so, so yeah, it is pretty pretty small. So. They're, they're tricky to use, and that's where I think, although they're an expensive unit and they do loads of damage up close, I think, you know, when you get the most out of them by flanking around buildings, using and, their smoke... And unlike really most cool other guns, them. they're good on the run, right? They're good on the run as well, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's only at that small little distance that they're good at. So they gotta when, stay when right you... on top of the enemy. Yeah, right on top. Sniper from Captain Aim. That's a cool mid-game build. Yeah, the, the only thing he's got to worry about now is if um, Easy gets a tank, which he, <laughs> which um, he might be getting close to, right? Yeah, we can see yeah. um, Mechanized Armor Company is coming up. Yeah, that's tier 4. That's an interesting choice. So I think maybe he's going to try SU-76. That'd be cool. We haven't seen a lot of SU-76 usage in this uh, Alienware tournament yet. And if used correctly, it can be a strong shock unit. Yeah, it's really strong. Yeah, and, and, and he's going to come under that, actually. Complements it quite well. You've got the KV-8. Which is really good anti infantry, which is something tier four lacks. You know, it doesn't have very good anti infantry. Have we, have we seen a KV eight yet in Alienware? No, no, I haven't no, seen one have yet. Not. Everybody's been getting um, T thirty four eighty fives, but the KV eight very strong tank still. Um, it can't chase, it can't chase squads and kill them on retreat anymore. But it's still really strong. It's not something you want to stand next to. No, yeah, you see it a lot in ladder matches. So uh, you know, players are still using it. We just haven't seen it. Oh, that sniper it. just gets oh, he's destroyed. In by the oh no! Yeah. Oh. Wow, just gunned down mercilessly. So yeah, those shots, nice damage against that two two two. Yeah, yeah they're great. Running it, this MG. Yeah. Great flank by that. Easy. Really wonderful play here, and this is a situation where the Germans just overextended and got punished for it. That Ooh. flank was so uncovered. Ooh. Ooh, shock troopers just murdering guys on retreat. Yeah, they're really, really nasty squads. Uh, you don't want to get close, but that's that's their weakness. They're only good at that short range. And so, you know, if you, as long as you can keep them out, then they're not that much threat. So how much manpower did uh, did Cap did Easy, uh, sorry, Captain Ain just lose by letting that sniper fall? 60 manpower plus the guys he lost on retreat as well. I think he lost a couple of couple of men, so as well. So it's three at least you know 360. So lost. Captain Ain just took a colossal manpower hit, losing that skirmish, and he's losing map. He's 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 been already cut off from the ammunitions on the right hand side. That 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 could be like a sort of a game winning middle game move from um, Easy. He's looking to to tie this up and take it to the ace game. His his tier four is up now, and uh, it's not going to be an SU-76, which is a shame. I would have liked to have seen that as his first build. It's going to be an SU-85, so he's uh, he's going to try to stay safe. He doesn't, I guess he's afraid of some kind of P4 or something like this coming out, but I mean, that just shows that he hasn't done any base recon, um, and he has no idea how far ahead he is. I mean, um, SU-85 is all, I mean, all you see is a 222. Personally, I don't think I would have got one, but, um... No, no, well, we have, we have the benefit of no fog of war. We know that that's not the correct build at the moment, but, you know, it never hurts to have a little extra AT. That's what he's figuring. Yeah, right. it, yeah. I mean, the only thing is that it's not going to be of much use for a while. No, all, it, until, no use at all, pretty much. Yeah, until the armor comes out. That's the only downside with it. But, yeah, um... We'll see. We'll see what he does with it. He might just keep it back, you know, and try and snipe that two, 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 because because it does well against it. Mm -hmm. um, Easy also put a lot of mines on this point than the south. So these Panzergrens and this two, 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 if they do go across the bridge, they might. Where are the mines? You know, down to the south. There's like I one on the yeah, land bridge. Where? Oh, oh really one far south. One by the house yeah. and one by the land bridge. Okay, man. Yeah, so you know, I, w I wish something would be added that I could find mines on the mini map. Because, I mean, like, you have to, like, hunt for them. Even with the Fog of War off, they're so hard to find. Yeah, they're very, um, they're not very, uh, easy to see. Nice 18 Not, not from the viewer perspective when you're, when you're trying to ob the game. Yeah, these conscripts did well against, uh, these units. Uh, everybody's collecting vet. Um, the scout car is going to escape. It's going to need some repairs. I wonder how aggressive, uh, it doesn't look like Easy will be very aggressive with the SU-85, he's chilling by the church. 
These Comptroves get to Vet 3, really nasty squad. They get lots of accuracy. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's quite good. He's got that squad to Vet 3, really nice. In the middle, he's going to retreat and reinforce it. Mm -hmm. so and mine really takes well. out two Grenadiers in the north. They barely escape with one man left in that squad. Yeah. And he's been doing really well with these flanks and shock troopers on this map. They're really strong because of these shot blockers and there's loads of routes for them to sneak about. So it's a really good map for shocks as well. You know, sometimes you, people might think about getting, getting PPSH as well on conscripts. PPSH conscripts are also really nice up close too, but mm -hmm. they still got that same problem where they you sacrifice a lot of their mid and long range firepower for this really strong short range weapon. Um, so that's a downside to getting PPSHs on all your conscripts. You, you, you're best off sort of just getting there on maybe one or two squads. You know, and then dead, changing them to like a dedicated flanker role or something along those lines. Man, Easy's really worried about anti-tank. He's Not only does he have the SU-85, but now he's called in an AT gun. So he is he's, he's going way overboard as far as better safe than sorry at the moment. And this is going to probably extend the life of this game because th those aren't units that you can use to uh, close a guy out necessarily. No, I think he might be worried that a um, tiger might be coming, perhaps. Really? Yeah, but... Although there's no, no tells so far. Let's switch to Captain Aind and just show you how far he is from tiger. He's got six CPs and he needs 11. So this is something that, you know, as you become better at the game, you, you become better at reading your opponent's CPs, you know, like making a read on it, like in the in the poker term, making a read on someone, and just knowing that he's so far away from that that you don't need all that AT, and you could actually be building a lot more anti-infantry, in particular the the Suchka, the SU-76 nickname. I I think so. I wouldn't. Like I said, Russian's terrible. I mean, he but, has a barrage yeah. that uh, could just be great against all these Grens. Yeah, or even you know the MG42s as well. You know, anything that's set up. But yeah, I think that's something he, he could have got, you know, SU-76, that would have helped him against the um, infantry. And as well as that, with, with regard to CPs, right, your enemy CPs will be roughly the same as yours. There won't be a really big difference. You know, they might be, you know, maybe a couple of eights or something above you, or maybe a half a CP above you, but there won't be any big variance between, the, you know, the difference between players. It won't be that big. So, so pro like, if seven, tip there is uh, if, you're, if you're wondering what your opponent might have, just look at your own CPs and you get a good idea. Yeah, it'll be around the same as yours. It won't be ex identical, but very similar. So, like, you know, easy has got on 7 CP, so his opponent's probably around 7, you know. And if we were to switch, which I'm switching now, he, I mean, the Captain Ain's on, like, 6 and 3 quarters, so he's not that far away, so. All right, well, the map is uh, crazy. There's little harassments and um, skirmishes all over the place. Let me show you the tactical map just for a second. You can see that um, Easy has elected to send his triple vet conscripts down to the south, and they're now fighting double vet grenadiers. A Molotov comes in, and I think they're going to win this fight. If you look at the unit health, they are definitely winning this fight. They're going to dodge an AT nade. Very nice that uh, Easy is able to multitask, not only micro in the north, but uh, dodge that nade in the east. That's really nice. It's really good. You know, that's so that's something that a lot of people have to get good at. You know, if they want to get better, it's like multitasking at different points. And the point is driven home uh, drastically by the fact that Captain Aind wasn't paying attention at all and lost that double that Grand Squad. Yeah, that's it. You have to you have to keep an eye on everything. It's always important. I mean, if you know, if they're in a really bad spot, that's what the retreat button's there for. Just get out. You know, hopefully <laughs> yeah. you won't take too many manpower losses. Yeah. Just just pop your screen down there, retreat them, or even, you know, you can just go up to the shield, right? You can just select them at the top right. When you see a squad, you know, when he's got that little fighting icon, that little sniper thing, and you see his health decreasing up on the top right, you just click there and hit, hit your hot key for retreat. And you don't even need to go look at what's going on. Just get the heck out as fast as possible. Preserve your units. One of the first things we recommend to all of our mentees is don't lose squads. Yeah, super important. You know, if, if you lose a man in the squad, you know, that's not the end of the world because, you know, the, you can reinforce and then reinforcing is way cheaper than building a new squad. So, always something to be aware of. Just, just try and keep your life. I mean, say you've just started playing the game, 
right, and you're getting really upset that you're losing, you know, that's all right. I mean, for your games for the time being, just try and spend all game just keeping all your squads alive and see how well you do, you know. Yeah, and, and it's amazing what they Because yeah. if, if you just sort of tip the balance a bit, kill maybe one or two of your enemy squads, even if you're, it feels like you're losing and you're out of map control, if you have a bigger armor than uh, army than your opponent, you can flip the map so fast, you know, like you can really cap tons of territory if you win a skirmish and just get all your support units out. MGs can cap, AT guns can cap. Um, it's amazing how fast territory can change hands. And, you know, good players. Like it, rem it reminds me of uh, like Symbiosis, the way he played Co. 1. He would never lose squads, even if he was getting his butt kicked on the field. He would never lose squads, and his endurance was one of his greatest strengths. And even if, you know, he was back in his base, his army would still be huge, and he would find a way to fight his way out. He never made it easy for an opponent to actually close him out. Yeah, yeah and Easy's now got access to KV-8, so we might see that, actually, at the, at the debut for the KV-8. Oh, that would, would be, be cool. I'll, I'll ring the bell for a, a KV-8 coming on. He can actually... He can actually build it now, but he's he's not. You can see he's got tons of manpower, tons of fuel. I guess he's just microing everywhere. Time yeah. time to pull the trigger on a build. Yeah, that's what I would do anyway. My, personally, get KVA because I've seen like loads of infantry. I haven't seen any sniff of armor. And I've got enough AT, so I'm just think you know yeah KVA just to burn all these uh, all these men. Heck yeah, and get an SNF ding ding. <laughs> yeah, but though, yeah, but oh, on the south man, those shock troopers did really bad against his Panzer Grins. You notice that he didn't actually, I'm sorry, aim didn't actually go into close in because there's no need. You can just stay at range and you'll kill shock troops with Panzer Grins. There's there's no need to get close. And I think I've read that as well. A lot of guys say, oh, they're rubbish at close range against shock troopers. It's like, well, you don't need to be in close range. You can beat them at exactly. mid or long range. Exactly. Yeah. Nice win for uh, Captain Ain to uh, control that Eastern VP. He's trying to claw his way back into this. He's got two fronts happening. He's got a front outside of his base with an MG and a bunch of grenadiers. And then he's got that front in the north where his uh, 2 to 2 is trying to cover his um, pack and his MG. And he's kind of keeping easy at bay. He's not making a ton of progress very quickly, but he is keeping his foothold. Uh, this is, you know, it, it can be tricky for um, for Germans to get units out of buildings. I noticed, you know, uh, compared to the Soviet, the Molotov, they can get that very early. For example. I like how Captain Ain swapped fronts with his scout car. You know, it's a fast mobile unit. At, you know, just a, just a minute ago, it was fighting in the north, and then he just he like shifted the zone. Basketball terms, if anybody's watching NBA Finals, the zone just shifted to double team the south. Nice move. It's been been good back and forth um, with the scout gun. He's kept it alive. You know, it's it's got vet one. It's almost a vet two, just a little bit more XP, and I'll get to it. So he's done well with that. Um, Easy is floating a lot of manpower. And yeah, fuel. I think um, I think he's waiting for IS two. It seems yeah, seems I pretty clear that that's what he's yeah. doing. He needs I a quarter of a CP, and then he'll have it. Should maybe get this if this MG dies. I think he might. Yeah, no. Oh, nice work with the, the scout car. Let's see if he can annihilate the squad he does. Very nice. Well played by Captain Ain. Okay, he just needs a sliver to call out the IS-2. We should see it any second now. This ought to do the XP trick up here. Some uh, shock troopers fighting Panzer Grenadiers. They take a nade to the face, ka ting 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 IS-2 unlocked, and there it is, called in. Have we seen an IS-2 yet? I don't care, I'm giving a ding ding for the IS-2. There you go, welcome to Sunday Night Fights, big bad boy. I think this is the first we've seen. Rogers had one. Um, he had one actually sink into the ice. But this is our oh, first, I believe, with Kai. Yeah, I think so. I haven't seen it before um, today. Uh, sorry, I haven't seen it in the series yet. So nice IS2 um, against the P4. I think the IS2 is going to win this, not without much difficulty. You know, he's got SU85, P4. Yeah, hits a mine. Yeah, it's finished. Wow. Okay, you're a few seconds ahead of me. He's just hitting the mine now. Let me time sync with you. I'm at 23, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm in sync. 
Man, so many mines down here. Yeah, yeah Ainge he's just, just been. Ainge just bought the farm, so to speak. Yep. He's a, uh, you know, El Muerte, brown bread, all the, all the synonyms and everything you can think of. You know, the IS-2 really just looks like a T-34-85 on steroids. Yeah, I think that's what they were, they were going for. Because um, <laughs> I, I think, when, when did this get issued? It was like 1943, I think, the IS-2, or was it 44? It was quite late in the war it was introduced. Now, IS, and it was of course, stands bad. for Josef Stalin. This is the, yes. the Stalin II, this big bad boy. I think they were going for um, you know, something bigger, and it, you know, it was really technologically advanced when it came out. So. It really it's, just looks like, you know, the Hulk version of a T-34-85, down to the uh, ammunition tubes um, on the back fenders. Yeah, this thing is a fantastic beast. And he's, you know, uh, Easy's got so much to support it that I just, I just can't imagine um, Captain Ain getting back into this. Uh, it's, it's tricky. I mean, I don't think even a tiger up now and he calls it in. There it is. GG. Uh, Captain Ain has seen <laughs> enough. Um, the IS-2 backed up by SU-85, backed up by AT guns, fed it up conscripts, and <laughs> Katusha just hit the field. Didn't even get a chance to shoot. But, yeah, that uh, that is convincing enough. Uh, Captain Ain throws in the towel. So we now have a one-to-one, uh, -one, and we're going to go to the ace game. And what do you say, Ibkai? I really want to see Mexico and Cameroon, but I think we can show them the ace game real quick before we go watch football. What do you yeah. say? Yeah, you down for it? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, stick with us, co-fans. We're going to bring you the ace game as our last game of the day, and then you're all permitted to, to go watch football. We won't take too much more of your time. Stick with us. We'll be right back.